All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakadash. Hey, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well and that teach well. Hey, shalom to the hopeful elect, to the house of David. We are here once again on another Saturday. We're so happy to be the Sabbath, the Shabbat. Hey, to, to let you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, Native Americans know that you are the most highest chosen people. And, and to uh, profess the downfall of America and to prophesy of the wars, the pestilence, and the coming of our Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, I mean, Yahweh Shai. And to let you know that the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and come out of the ways of this world, right? And put off the. Uh, the works of darkness and put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Why? Because the time is short, man. The scriptures say, the, hey, not, for now it's time to wake up out of sleep, man. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? And I guess I'll start off with that, man. The book of Romans 13 and 11 said, and knowing that, and that knowing the time now is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we would than when we believe, man. Nearer than when we believe, right, man. So, so we're not in the time of 2,000 years ago, man, when the Lord was put to death, man. See, that became the beginning of the end, man. When Yahweh was put to death, when he was crucified, man. We are in the, in the very latter days, man. We are in the end days, man. When Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah prophesied, like the disciples told him in, in uh, asked him in the book of Matthew 24, man. Let me get that, man. This is the book of Matthew. Matthew 24 and verse. Let's start at three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So the disciples wanted to know what shall be the, uh, the sign of the coming of the Lord, man, and the end of the world, man. And, and Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Right? And there's a whole bunch of deception going on now, man. You have nothing but deceivers and devils out here, man. Deceiving, deceiving the children of Israel and to thinking that you some other you something other than uh or what you are, man. The most high chosen people, man. That you thinking that you are really heathen according to the flesh, man. But according to the spirit, you are heathen. You're Hellenistic, man. He said, For many shall come in my name, saying that I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars, man. And we've been hearing the wars and rumors of wars for the past few years, man. <laughs> See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places, man. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. So the scriptures say all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So to look forward to the end of Yahweh Shem Shah, you look forward to the signs, man. You observe the signs and you watch, man. Scripture said, watch as well as pray. Verse 9, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, 
and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, just like they did the disciples, man. The followers of Yahweh Shah, man. How they was persecuted, man. Scripture said, hey, the servant is not greater than his master, man. Yahweh Shah was persecuted. So would his men be persecuted, man. And we're going to be demonized, man, just like Yahweh Shah was demonized, man. See, the world, see, because the scriptures tell you the world hated the Lord, man. The world did not want to receive the Lord, so therefore the world is not going to receive us, man, because it didn't receive him who sent us, man. And it didn't receive him who sent him, man. So therefore, they don't, the world don't receive the most high, man. The world don't accept the most high, man, just like they didn't accept the anointing, man, which was uh, Hamashiach, man, which was Yahweh Shah, man. <clears throat> And, and then many shall be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Like the scriptures say, man, the, Yahweh Shah is coming to set a man at variance against his father, man. A man's foes shall be they of his own household, man. So people are going to be offended in the word that's coming out, which is the true gospel of the, of the kingdom of heaven, man. Because hey, the, in these church houses, these temples made with the hands of man, which, which have not the Holy Spirit, Hey, that tell you that the, you can be saved just by believing in Yahweh Shah and, and, and continue to live your life how you want to live, man. Just by, I mean, they don't even tell you the, the name of the Lord, man. They tell you Jesus Christ, man. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to be saved, man. Or you are saved. Scripture say, they, I mean, they said they are saved already, man, when, when, when there's nothing to be saved from yet, man. We got to be saved out of Jacob's trouble, man. The time like no other that's going to come up on the face of the earth, man. And we are just in the beginning stages of it. Jeremiah 30 and 7, man. Daniel 12 and 1. You know what? Let me get that right quick. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. <clears throat> Slack, let me start at verse 5. But thus, I'm going to go up one. Let's start at verse 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Israel being a northern kingdom and Judah. Represent the southern kingdom, man. The so-called darker tribes, man. <clears throat> and Israel being the so-called Latinos and Native American Indians, man. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. So the scriptures say, hey man, see the Lord ain't coming to bring peace on earth, man. The Lord is coming to bring a sword, man. The Lord is coming to bring division among, amongst people, man. The Lord said, men is going to be offended and going to be, and going to betray one another. See, and this is how you know that we in the end, all the uproars of the people, man. The nation against nation, man. The world against the prophets, man. Right. <clears throat> Going back to uh, Jeremiah 30 and 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right? Because the world, hey, man, these church houses have had you think that the Lord is coming to bring peace on earth, man. And the scripture said, the Lord is not coming to bring peace on earth, man. The Lord is coming to bring, and, and to, and the Lord is coming for war, man. Vengeance is in the Lord, I mean, in the hearts of the Lord, man. The Lord is coming for vengeance and recompense, man, to recompense our enemies, man. To pay back the enemies of the nation of Israel, man, for all the tribulation and for the death that they have put upon our people, man. And for all and for the slavery, man, because the Lord required that of times past, man. See, these 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 damn devils, they'll tell you that, hey, uh, hey, that wasn't us, man. Forgive and forget, man. Basically. Forgive and forget those who troubled us, man. But the Lord said, hey, man, he going to punish those, man. Those who troubled us, man. You know? <clears throat> Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins. As a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness, man. So the Lord, hey, the Lord said in these, in these latter times, well, he, he going to see men is going to be like women in these times, man. Men is going to be so afraid of the things that's coming up on the face of the earth, man. Why? Because they are not being prepped. They are not being prepared for the things, man. They're not spiritually preparing themselves. Why? Because they have false leaders over them, man. They have wolves in, in sheep clothing leading them, man. 
leading them astray, man. Like the scriptures say, the, the blind follow the blind, and they both should fall into a ditch, man. But the scripture also say that the, the deceiver and the deceiver are heels, man. So if, if anyone out here being deceived, it is the Lord ultimately, the hand of the Lord, who's doing the deceiving, man. Because the Lord control all, man. The scriptures tell you that uh, man's doings is of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way, man? See, a man can't understand his own way. Why? Because he's being controlled, man. A man don't make his own decisions, man. They're already predestined before, before the time, man. See, this is already written. Everything that we living out now, man. <clears throat> Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And this is the time of the trouble for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. When it's devil, according to the book of Revelation 12 and 12, it's going to come down with this great wrath because he know that he have a short time. And I'm going to get that, man. I'm going to grab that right quick. See? 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 These people think these so-called white men are just, hey, he just all forgiving, man. He don't put away his horns, man. I think the white man don't put away his horns, man. But the white man, he, he finna show him, man. The white man cannot change his, uh, his characteristics, man. He cannot change who the Lord has set him up to be, man. He is the wicked. He is the sword of the Most High, man, which is the red man, according to the Bible, which is the biblical Edomites, man. Storm these top banking families on down, man. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. See, and this right here is what these false pastors are not bringing out, man. They're not bringing out, they're not showing you who your true enemy, man. They'll tell you that the devil is your enemy, but they don't point, pinpoint that devil, man. They, they don't really expose who the devil is, man. They tell you that the devil, have you thinking that the devil is some red man that living underground that's going to rule in the pits of hell, right? That's going to sit on the throne and, 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 and poke you with, with, with pitchforks for the rest of eternity, man. Like, a, like it's a place you're going to go to, man, where there's nothing further from the truth, man. <clears throat> the devil is the so-called... Uh, the Edomites, the so-called white man, woman, and child, man, according to the scriptures, man. This is the book of Revelation 12 and 12. Mm. Salakia. <clears throat> you know what? I want to, um... It said, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know he have a short time. So like, yeah, he have but a short time, man. So the devil is finna come down with this great wrath. Why? Because he see the great awakening of the Hebrew Israelites, man. He see the prophets back out on the streets, man. Prophets out of the downfall of this kingdom, man. Which is not so great, man. It's only great for a moment, man. To them anyway, man. See, this is hell for us, man. This is a hellified condition that we in, man. But our people, our, our people want to stay here, man. Our people want to grow here with us, with the enemy, man. Our people want to be freeing the enemies, man. The true enemies. Right, man. Yeah, man, because the scripture tell you, going back into the book of Jeremiah 30, and seven, alas, for the day is great. For that day is great. So that none is like it. So it's going to come a time that there is no day like the day that's coming upon the face of the earth, man. It all, a day when all hell is breaking loose, man. All turmoil, all tribulation, man. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And why is it called Jacob's trouble again, man? It is called Jacob's trouble. Who is Jacob, man? Jacob is Israel, man. Jacob is the, uh, the progenitor of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Right, man. Which descend from Isaac, which descend from Abraham, man. Which, the, who, which who the Most High chose and promised to them, which is our forefathers, that we would inherit the land, man. The Holy Land, man. The land the Lord promised to us, man. Made a covenant with by sacrifice, man. And the scripture tell you in the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6, going back up into that. 
see all these things tie in because the scripture tell us, man. Precept upon precept here a little, there a little. See, this is the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto him. Unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord got a special people that are up on the face of the earth, man. And that those people he did not do away with, man. Those people never died off because what they only did, they only, oh, they kept procreating, man. And they had children that had children that had children that had children. And the Lord said he was going to make a covenant with us forever, man. <clears throat> the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, man. So hell no, nah, man, we ain't no uh, Egyptians, man. We're not the uh, the ancient Egyptians, man. Those not our people. We're not Kemet, man. To hell with Kemet, man. We are, we are the, we were the actual slaves of the Egyptians, man. We were the people who the Lord had to free through the chariots with Yahweh shot, man. Up out of the, out of, I mean, and through the hand of Moses, man. With the departing, with the parting of the Red Sea. Right, man. We are those same people that the Lord made a covenant with because once out of, once we was brought out of Egypt, um, the Lord came before us and Moses had to step up and, and, and go to the Lord for us, man. For our people, man. And the Lord gave Moses commands, man. He gave him uh, commandments to give unto the nation of Israel, man. And the Lord, and there, the Lord made a covenant with us, man. <clears throat> Deuteronomy seven and and nine. Know therefore that the Lord, thy power, He is the Most High, the faithful power, which keeping it, the covenant. Which keep it the covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Man. So no, the Israelites were not done away with, man. There was only one mass destruction, um, which was the the, uh, the first the first woe, man. The woe of the the flood uh, in the time of Noah, man. And he repaid them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He would not be slack to him that hate him. And he will repay him to his face, man. So the Lord is not slack. The Lord is not slack to destroy you, man. So the Lord said he's going to repay you to your face, man. All thee that hate him love death. That's what the scriptures say, man. Everybody that hate the Lord and hate the ways of the Lord and the commandments of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Hey, you, you made a covenant with death, man. <clears throat> and repay them that hate him to their face to destroy them he will not be slack to him that hated him he will repay him to his face so all of you basically hey you're showing that you hate the lord by not following his ways man not following his commands because the scriptures say to show that you love the lord is to keep his commandments man so if you are here smoking drug dealing uh pipping um uh worshiping idols you showing that you hate the most high, man. If you're here scoffing the prophets and mocking, you know, uh, and, and not believing on the Lord as it is written, then you hate the Lord, man. You hate Yahweh Shai, man. You hate you hate the most high Yahweh. <clears throat> Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and statutes and, and the judgments which I command thee this day. To do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass. If you hearken to these judgments. And keep and do them. That the Lord thy power shall keep unto thee. The covenant and mercy which he had sworn unto. Which he had sworn to unto thy fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. 
and the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thy oil, and in, in the increase of thy kind, and the flocks, and the flocks of thy sheep, in the land which he had swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Right, and we didn't have those blessings, man, according to the book of Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28. The Lord didn't increase our land, and he didn't bless the fruit of our womb because we went off as a people, man. We sinned against the Lord, man. Therefore, that's why the Lord gave us into the hands of our enemies, man. That was the whole reason we went into captivity, man. We went into slavery because we refused to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, man. Our people rather worship idols and put other gods before you. How about you, was shy? And keep not the commandments of the Lord, not hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord delivered us into the hands of the Edomites, man. And not only the Edomites, but these other nations that we still under captivity of, man. Verse 14, thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male nor female barren among you or among your cattle, man. And that's not in this time, man. Because, hey, a lot of our people can't even have children, man. Scripture is saying, hey, the purpose, the purpose of a woman is basically to have birth, man. To give birth and, and, to, and to multiply man's seed. That's basically the purpose of a woman is to serve her husband, man. See, but this day and time, women don't know the definition of woman, man. You know? That's why they're referred to as female, meaning lack of faith. Um, and the Lord will take uh, take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the Ill, Ill, I mean, evil disease of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. So this is going to happen, man. Even if even, even it's not happening now, which, which is like in full effect, like the curses we fell upon, the Lord is going to put these curses upon upon these heathen, man. Upon these the heathen, the old, all those that hate us, man. Because in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to serve the Israelites. They're going to serve the Israelites the same way uh, we serve them, man. The same exact way, man. But the Lord said he's going he gonna to put it upon them twofold, man. He gonna double. He, he gonna put on them. He gonna fill onto their cup double, man. <clears throat> and thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy power shall deliver thee. Thine eat, thine eyes shall have no pity upon them. Neither shall there. No, so like Neither shall thou serve their gods. For that they would be a snare to thee, man. And that's what our people are doing now, man. Our people are serving the gods of the damn Edomites, man. The, the, the Christian gods, man. Jesus Christ, man. Allah, Buddha, uh, Jehovah, man. Scripture say our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Because our people reject knowledge. In the last days, the Lord's got prophets, set up prophets to come out here and prophesy to you. That you know who you are, what, what your true identity is. But our people don't want to hearken, man. Our people don't want to, our people don't care to know who they are, man. Our people just want to continue to be black people and U.S. citizens, man. That's it. And according to the Constitution, you're not even a citizen according to these, until your own uh, damn slave master, man. You're not even a citizen. You are a three-fourth human being, man. You're not even a whole person according to the Constitution, man. No, you're a three-fifth human being, man. So like you, man. If thou shalt say in thine heart, these nations are more than I, how can I dispose them? How can I dispossess them? Right, because these, these nations are not more than not more than us, man. We know coming into the knowledge of, 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 uh, of the truth of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and the true doctrine, we know that we are better than all these nations, man. Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but thou shalt well remember what the Lord thy power did unto Pharaoh, unto the king of, I mean, unto all of Egypt, man. So the Lord, basically, hey, the Lord destroyed Egypt, man. And the Lord is going to do the same thing in this modern time, man. The Lord is going to destroy all of Idumia, man. The Babylon the Great, which is America, man, with thermonuclear missiles, man. So this place don't have long, man. America will be completely wiped out, man, according to the Bible, man. So now it's time to get right with the Lord, man. 
Same way the Lord flooded the earth back then in the time of Noah. And this time, the Lord is going to wipe out America the great, man. But he, the Lord is going to deliver his elect, man. So now, the, the, uh, the, 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 the elect are being sealed, man. The elect are getting that, that mark of exemption set forth by these angels, man. Which encampeth around us, man. Lord willing, I be one of those people, man. I be one of the members of the elect, man. <clears throat> the great temptations which thine eyes saw, and the signs, and the wonders, and the mighty hand, and the stretched out arm, whereby the Lord thy power brought thee out, so shall the Lord thy power do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. So the same way the Lord destroyed the Egyptians, the Lord gonna destroy the so-called white man, man. The Lord is gonna do the same thing. Why? Because they rule over the children of Israel, man. And they persecute the children of Israel, man. Moreover, the Lord thy power will send the hornet among them until they are I mean, to like it, until that that are, that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed, man. So the scripture is saying, hey, just like the, when the nuclear missiles come over here, you're going to have people going into the underground bunkers and they're going to hide themselves from the, uh, from the destruction, man. We're talking about the elite, man. The elites of this society, man. They're going into the uh, cliffs of the rocks and, and asking the rocks to fall upon them and hide, and hide them from him that sat up on the uh up on the land, I mean upon the throne, man. Thou shalt not be a, a frightened at them, for the Lord thy power is among you, a mighty power and terrible, man. So the Lord, hey, we're not afraid of nothing, man. We're not we're not afraid of what mere mortal men can do to us, man. What the scriptures say, man. That's why we we gladly come out here and profess the name of Yahweh Shem Shah in the face of our enemies, man. But we come out here and tell these people their judgments, man. We come out here and tell these people their future judgments, man. Why? Because we don't have the fear of these people. We got the fear of Yahweh Shem Shah, man. We fear the Most High who, who is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell, man. We don't fear what man can do to our body, man. And, and can't and, 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 and can't touch the soul, man. We don't fear that man, man. <clears throat> and the Lord, that power will put the, put those nations before thee by little, by uh, by little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But the Lord, that power shall deliver them unto thee, and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed, man. Hey, so, hey, man, man, hey, man, Christianity don't teach the, 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 uh, the truth of the scriptures, man. Christians don't know the Bible, man. They think God is all loving and all merciful and all kindness and all just that, man. They don't know that the Lord is a God of balance, man. Of course, the Lord is all that, but the Lord is also a God of balance, man. The Lord is a man of war, man. The Lord is a man who kills, man. The Lord, the Lord destroys, man. The Lord sends weapons, man. The Lord sends hit man. That's right, man. The Lord, the Lord send murders. The Lord raise up murderers, man. The Lord, the Lord send uh spirits of vengeance, man. When people die, it's not according. It's not the devil that can control the people. It's the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh who sent a hit on the people that put that is put to death, man. Because nothing, nothing goes forth that is not passed through by the Most High God, man. Why? Because He in control of all, man. He is the great puppet master. Man. And he shall deliver the kings into thy hand, and thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before thee until thou have destroyed them. The, the graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire, and shall not desire the, the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination unto the Lord thy power. Neither shall, shall thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed, like at least, least thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, 
and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing, man. Just like this Easter that's coming up, man. The Lord is not dealing with Easter, man. That's true, which was a goddess of, of sex and fertility, man. Which is a, a, a heathenistic uh, custom, man. Which they tell you that it's, a, it's about the Lord, man. Basically, it's about worshiping an idol, man. Because the Lord, hey, they tell you that the Lord died on a Friday and rose on a Sunday, man, which is further from the truth. The scriptures tell you that the Lord was going to raise after three days, man. Basically, being on the fourth day, right? After three days, man. And if you if you add up the numbers, if, if you can count, Friday to Sunday is not after three days, man. Three nights and three days, no, man. Whole days, man. Yeah, man, because our, our people basically, hey, our people really, again, going into the book of Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed. I'm going to get it, man. Hosea 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. And, and who is the my people here, man? The my people... All throughout the scriptures, when the Lord referred to my people, the Lord is referring to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. Which, which now go under different names, which are by words set up by your enemies so that you don't know who you are, man. Why? Because it's ultimately up to you. How about some y'all shot the pop, the most high of Israel, saying that, hey, he told us we was going to discontinue from our heritage, man. Scripture say we was going to discontinue from our heritage, not knowing what we are or who we were, man. But the scriptures also say in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves, man. The Lord said he was going to put the spirit of truth and, 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 and give us back the Holy Spirit, man, for us to remember who we are and, and what he required of us to do, man. And only the elect is going to get that message, man. And they're going to adhere, adhere to that message, man. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Are you Israelite, bro? You Hebrew Israelite? I, I don't learn a little bit of that. Yeah, the Lord wants you to repent, man. See, the Hebrew Israelites was brought over to America in slavery, right? Yeah, on the slave ships. According to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, 68, we were brought over here to serve our enemies because we, we transgressed the laws of our power, man. We're supposed to keep the commandments of the Most High, man, but our people didn't want to keep the commandments, man. So, therefore, the Lord is, the Lord is pouring out His Holy Spirit in the last days to uh, reach out to His people by His prophets to warn His elect, man, for those to repent. You know what I'm saying? For his people, all these people that he only signed from Negroes, West Indies, Haitians, Dominicans, Romanians to uh, Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Sem uh, Seminole Indians, uh, Ar Ar Argentinians, and, uh, Chileans, Tim uh, Colombians, and Uruguayans, and Mexicans, man. All those are the children of Israel. Man. These are these are our true identity. This is our true identity. We this is our, this is the name we go by that the so-called our oppressors gave us, man. Like, like the, whole, the reason you became a Negro was because your enemy conquered you and he labeled you something else, man. He conquered us and he started calling us black, man. Started calling us nigger. Started calling us Negro. Started calling us everything but Judah, Benjamin, Levi. You know what I'm saying? Because if we know that we was you know, all these, we know that we were the children of the Most High, we know that we got to keep the commandments of the Most High, man. Yep. And the truth is not in these church houses, man. So repent, man. Repent. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. So the Lord says, since you forgot the law of the Most High, he going to forget your children. He going to reject you. He going to reject your children, man. Going on down, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame? You, you losing all your goddamn 
going over here. <clears throat> This is the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 9. I'm going to come up a little. Uh, the whole book of Ezekiel 14 is good, man. I would say read the whole book of Ezekiel 14. Man. But I'm going to start here at, um, at verse, verse 8. And I will set my face against that Maslaki. I'm going to go up verse 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus said the Lord power, man. Go say unto the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It said, go and say unto them, therefore say it, the Lord power, not man, me, me and not saying this, man. These are words that's handed down to us to give you the warning, man. Therefore say it, the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, repent and turn yourselves from your idols. Turn yourself from your false Jesus Christ, man. Turn yourself from Allah, man, from Buddha, man. Turn yourself from these false gods, man. Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations, man. All the things that the Lord despises, man. All the things that the Lord hates, turn your face away from it, man. If you don't want to be a part of the second destruction, man, the second woe, man, which is going to be uh, for, on America through thermonuclear missiles, man. <clears throat> for every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourned in Israel, which separated himself from me and set it and set it up his idols in his heart and put it the stumbling blocks of his iniquity before his face and come it to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me I the Lord would answer him by myself and I will set my face against that man and will make him a sign and a proverb and I will cut him off from the midst of my people and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And if a prophet be deceived, when he had spoken the thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Man. And I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity, and the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh him, man. So you following these false church leaders, you're going to be destroyed with these false church leaders, man. All these people, these black countries, communities, these black countries, people, these so deep people. Hey, if it ain't, if it ain't the gospel of you, how about Shemya was shy? Hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. The Lord is going to kill you, man. And he's going to have to rebirth you, man. The Lord, he going to have to, but the Lord is going to rebirth you in the kingdom of heaven. Man. You're going to be, you're going to have to be reborn in the kingdom of heaven, man. As a newborn babe, man. <clears throat> that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted anymore with all their transgressors, but that they may be my people and I may be their God, said the Lord, man. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man. When the land sinned against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and I will break the staff of bread thereof, and I will send famine upon it, and I will cut off man and beast from it. But the Lord said, hey, he's going to send a, sh a shortage of bread, man. A famine of bread, man. The Lord is also going to send a shortage of water, man. A, th a thirst for water, man. <clears throat> Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they shall deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, said the Lord Power. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through that land, and they spoil it, so that they have beaten like it, so that it be desolate, and that no man may pass through because of the beasts. Though these three men were in it, 
as I live, said the Lord Power, they shall deliver neither son, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters. They only shall be delivered, and the land shall be desolate, man. And that represents the elect, man. Only the elect is gonna be delivered out of Babylon the Great. <clears throat> okay, if I bring a sword upon the land and say sword go through the land so that I cut off man and beast from it though these three men were in it as I live said the Lord power they should deliver, deliver neither sons nor daughters but they should only be delivered themselves or if I send pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it man and beast though Noah, Daniel and Job were in it as I live, said the Lord, power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. Man. And the scriptures say the spirits of the prophets are subjected to the prophets, man. The prophets are back, man. The prophets are back, man. Scriptures say the Lord is going to send prophets in the last days to, uh, to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the great, man, of the great cities, man. Of these great kingdoms, a war of pestilence and, and pestilence of, of, of evil times, man. Bad times, man. <coughs> For thus said the Lord, power, how much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the northern beast and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. So the Lord's gonna send spirits out, create, the Lord's gonna send death spirits, man, basically, to cut off from it the wicked of our people, man. People that don't wanna repent, man. They don't wanna put down the smoking, the idolatry, the pimping, the whoring, the uh, committing adultery with other men's women, the uh, eating, of, eating of the shrimp, the catfish, the pork, all, all these that I named, those who were found doing this will be put to death, man. According to the book of Isaiah 60, 66, 15 through 17, man. And these are prophecies that haven't happened yet, man. These are the prophecies that we are waiting for, man. Right, we are hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. They say, yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth both sons and daughters behold they shall come forth unto you and ye shall see their way and their doings and ye shall be confident concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem even concerning all that I have brought upon it and they shall comfort you when ye shall see their ways and their doings you shall know that I have done without cause all that I have done in it said the Lord said the Lord and let me get the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66 and 15, man. See, because the Lord ain't playing with niggas, man. The Lord is finna kill. You know what? This is the book of Isaiah 45 and verse 5, man. You know what? I'm going to start up. <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have called thee by thy name, and I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So the Lord surnamed us, Yasharala, though we had not even known so like it, though we have not even known him, man. <clears throat> Verse 5. Again, I am the Lord, there is none else. There is no power besides me. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me. See, the scripture keeps saying, you don't know the Lord, man. You can claim to know the Lord all you want. Why? Because you go to church and all this and that. But you don't have the spirit. You don't have the spirit that the Lord 
put on uh, on his prophets, man, to prophesy to you. You don't have the Holy Spirit, man. Scripture say with, with their lips, they they uh they show much love, but their heart is far from me, man. The scripture say you gonna of course you're gonna profess uh that you that you that you know God, because the scripture say you have a zeal of the most high, you have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, man. Of course, people gonna say they believe him, but they don't know what the Lord is truly about, man. They don't know that the Lord kills, man. They don't know that the Lord is coming to pray to wage war. That's why in the book of Revelation, the scriptures tell you that Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's going to be the Lord of Lords, man. King of Kings, man. The Lord is coming for war, man. The Lord is coming to battle, man. The Lord is coming to take this kingdom, man. He's coming to take all rulership and dominion over, the, of the, of the, over all the earth, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back to destroy, man, to kill, man. The Lord is coming with an army, man. Why would the Lord, if the Lord was coming, if he was coming by himself, no, you know what I'm going to say? Why would the Lord be coming with an army if he wasn't coming preparing to fight? And according to the book of Revelation, no, it's uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 13, when the Lord come on the chariots, there's going to be people, that all the nations that are gathered in the valley of Jehoshaphat in the Middle East that is preparing for World War III in the midst of their fighting, they're going to see the Lord enter the atmosphere, man. They're going to see the Lord enter this earth, man. And they're going to turn their weapons from each other up unto the Lord, man. But in the Lord said, even though they're going to be afraid, they're going to dare fight, man. They're going to dare to fight him, man. So they're going to try to they're gonna try to go to war with the Lord, man. These damn militaries are going to try to fight you. How was shot when he returned, man? And guess what? The Lord said, the end of them is going to be dust and smoke, man. Because he's going to smoke their asses, man. Literally, man. He gonna literally eviscerate them, man. The Lord is literally gonna annihilate these people, man. The Lord is gonna turn these people into powder, man. Also, my laser beams coming from chariots, man. Laser beams coming from so-called UFOs, man. Like the, like the shit you see in the war of the worlds, man. That is true. That's where they get it from, man. They get it from the Bible, man. That's how they're able to come out with all these movies, man. That's in 2nd Ezra 15, man. I mean, uh, Salaki, 2nd Ezra chapter 13. <clears throat> I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no power besides me. I gird thee, though thou hast not known me. <clears throat> that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. So you don't need you don't even need a breakdown on that, man. Because that, hey, that's that's clearly said, man. The Lord said he make evil and make peace, man. The Lord, he make war and make peace, man. The Lord, the Lord is a God that controls all things, man. Just like you got a damn, uh, um, just like you got a director in a movie, he control, he control, he, he directs the movie, man. Just like you got a script in the movie, you got the scriptures, which lets you know the things that is going to happen, like things that have happened before, man. Everything is going to be played out according to the script that is written. And it's just so him, we got the cheat codes, man, which ain't cheat codes. We just been alerted, man. The Lord don't put the spirit on his prophets to wake them up in the latter times, man. And those who are going to be saved by hearing the words of the prophets, man. And taking heed and having faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Which are the true names of the Lord, the Most High God, in the, in the Paleo-Hebrew, which is the ancient tongue, and his only begotten son, man. In the, in the, in the, uh, the Rakai Kordash, man, which is the Holy Spirit, man. Oh, it's normal. Look at that. They ain't gonna mess with me. They, they ain't gonna mess with me. As long as I don't fight them, they ain't gonna mess with me. This is the book of Isaiah 47 and verse. I'm finna move it. You know what? <clears throat> this is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. 
Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Hey, the doors of mercy are still open, man. The, the doors of mercy are still open. That's why the Lord still have prophets out in the highways and the hedges, in the highways and byways, to, to give the nation of Israel a warning, man. To preach repentance, man. How you doing? What am I preaching for? I'm doing the will of the Lord. I'm doing the will of the Lord, man. Where are you preaching from? From KJV. King James Bible. Yeah. What book? What? All over. Oh, all over. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I heard you know things in Proverbs. We're still a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. See, my job is to come out here and to warn all the, the nation of Israel who don't know that they are Israel to let them know to repent before the Lord brings destruction upon this place. Mm hmm. Same way the Lord destroyed the world before in the flood, He's going to destroy it again with fire and it's going to be thermonuclear missiles. It says, seek ye the Lord while ye may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power. For he will abundantly pardon. So the Lord said he'll pardon your sins if only you seek him now, man. He'll pardon your sins, man. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, said the Lord, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And going over into the book of 2 Peter, how the Lord said he will abundantly pardon your sins, basically, and if you return unto him and repent. This is 2 Peter <clears throat> chapter 3 and verse uh, la, 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 la. <clears throat> I'm going to get straight to the point. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But is long suffering towards usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the Lord just want our people to repent, man. He want his people to repent. So he ain't got to destroy them. Like the Lord said, if, if all of Israel would face the east and turn away from their sins and pray unto the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will bring us out of our captivity. Just like that, man. But that's not written. It's not going to happen, man. The Lord said he got to destroy two-thirds of his people because his people are stiff-hearted and hard-headed and hard-headed and, 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 and stiff-necked, man. This is the book of um, <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 3. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. <clears throat> It said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel, man. Go speak into the, into the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And Seminole Indians, man. The Mexicans, Uruguayans, Chileans, Guatemalans, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Negroes. Go speak unto these people, which are my people. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll, man. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this robe. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness, man. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel, with your so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and everybody that's on this 12 tribe chart, man. Go speak my words unto them. Just like the disciples and the, the disciples when they walked in the time of the anointing, man. Walk with the Messiah, man. Like the disciples, uh, like the Messiah said right here in the book of Matthew, chapter um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 10. 
I come right back to them. <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter 10 <clears throat> and verse 5. <clears throat> These 12 Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and in it. In, in, into any city of the Samaritans into ye not <clears throat> but go rather into the lost sheep of the house of Israel which is everybody that's on the 12 tribes chart starting with the north uh, Negroes all the way down to the Mexicans <clears throat> and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand but the Lord said go preach and saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand man so hey so the disciples was only sent to one nation of people, man. Out of all 18 nations that the Lord created, the Lord only sent these, his disciples unto one nation. And that was the same nation that was chosen in the, in the beginning in the book of uh, second, um, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and, and verse 6 on down, man. Same people, man. Going back into the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse Verse 5, thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, nor, I mean, Salaki, of a strange speech and of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. The Lord keep repeating himself. The Lord repeating himself over and over and over and over. You ain't sent but unto Israel. Go only unto Israel. The promises is only for Israel. The adoption and the glory is only for Israel. The kingdom of heaven is only for Israel. He was only sent for the nation of Israel to give Israel repentance, man. The Lord was only sent only for Israel, man. He was sent to be a door into the nation of Israel, man. And only Israel can see him, man. Why? Because only Israel was given the laws, yeah, man. I was gonna, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to go. Only Israel, man. <clears throat> not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand surely had I sent thee to them they would have hearkened unto thee for the Lord said if he had sent his disciples unto any other nation they would have hearkened but they, the, the Lord did not send his disciples unto any other nations when the Lord sent his disciples amongst these nations, they was until the, the scattered, uh, the scattered sheep, which were Israelites, man. Hellenistic Jews, man. Jews, Israelites, man. But the house of Israel, um, Slaki. Yes, but the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. So the Lord says, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is not going to hearken unto him. I mean, Salaki, they're not going to hearken unto us because for they would not hearken unto me. Why? Because they don't hearken unto Yahweh Shem Yahushua. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. And hard-headed children, man. You hard-headed people, man. That was, this is what caused us to, to, to come out of our land, man. This is what caused us to be ruled over by our enemies, man. Why? Because of our hard head and stiff neckness, man. And hard hearts, man. This is the book of um, <clears throat> Ezekiel 4, 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. So the Lord said, give you warning, man. Give you warning from what? Give you warning from him, man. Why? Because he is about to send his son to bring straight destruction and all hell upon this place, man. Warn you about him from him. Right now, when I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, 
and thou hast given him not warning or speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require thine hand, man. So we out here let you know to put down the pork. If you don't put down the pork, the Lord is going to judge you, man. If you don't put down the abominations, the Lord is going to judge you, man. If you don't put down the shrimp, the catfish, the crawfish, the crab, the lobster, the Lord is going to judge you, man. The Lord is going to kill you, man. If you don't put down the adultery, the Lord is going to kill you. If you don't put down the idolatry, the worshiping of other gods, the Lord is going to kill you. If you don't put down these false pastors and false preachers, the Lord is going to kill you, man. If you don't put away false Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to kill you. If you don't put down these, these uh, celebrating these holidays, which is going to worship another God, the Lord is going to kill you. And that's one of the wicked. That is one of the wicked of his wicked ways, man. We let you know that the Lord is going to kill you, man. However, the Lord kill you, the Lord kill you. We don't. I don't know exactly how each each individual is gonna go out, man. But I know the vast majority is gonna go out through thermonuclear missiles, man, and through the hand of the white man, so-called white man, which is the devil according to the Bible. Through the hand of the damn military, which which once martial law is declared, um, yeah, in the FEMA camps, man. A lot of people are gonna be getting put down in their own homes, man. A lot of people are going to be getting put down in the detention centers, man. Why? Because Revelation 12 and 12. The devil is coming down with great wrath. Because he knows he got a short time, man. <clears throat> let me, let me, I'm going to end it right here. <clears throat> I'm going to end it with what I should have begun it with. This is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 58. And your brother should know where I'm going with this. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. That's right. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sins, man. So we are out here to show. The Lord's people, uh, their transgressions. Show you Israelites your transgressions, man. All those that are on this sign, man. Show you your transgressions, man. Put down your sins, man. And the house of Jacob, their sins, man. So we are here to cry loud. We ain't sparing nobody's feeling. We are here to give you warning from the Lord. Hey, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now it's time to put off the work of darkness and put on the whole arm of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And with all that being said, I want to say, call the Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, with cock of dash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.